my god! Dude, dude, oh my god. Dude, this is a big one. All right, y'all, so this right here is a big moment. I'm actually back at my parents' house right now, and we just got a shipment in. It's been here for like a couple days, but I'm finally here to pick it up. Big things are happening. So if you guys have been watching my channel here for a while, you know that I have a red kayak that's like eight foot. It was the cheapest kayak at Cabela's at the time. I bought it like years ago. I freaking love the thing. I very much dislike when people are like, yo, cheap kayaks, like you can't fish out of them. I've heard that like stigma where you can't paddle and fish. Dude, I'm telling you right now, you could do it. You can literally go to Walmart right now, buy an inflatable and fish off that paddle with your freaking hands. So I have fished off of that thing for years and finally, Finally, something has happened, man. I got connected to a really, really cool kayak company. They sent me out a boat that is just is freaking bonkers, dude. Boom, there she is. Look at, hold on, real quick. Look at how freaking long that is, dude. I'm not getting paid to show you guys this kayak, to use this fishing kayak. They just sent it to me. They're like, yo, let us know what you think. I'm just so freaking excited, man. This is like luxurious. Now again, let me just say stuff like this is really, really cool, but it is not any way necessary, necessary, you know, to actually go out and fish and have a good time. Cause at the end of the day, that's really all, it, you know, that really is all that matters. Get out there, having a good time, being out in the water, and you know just enjoying the great outdoors but let's get right into this man i'm telling you it's just like so foreign to me to like i, I don't know as you can see it's kind of soggy it's been raining non-stop here in delaware i'm gonna open this thing up here let's take a look at it Holy crap, dude, this is so freaking cool, man. Shout out to Old Town. Again, this is not sponsored. They did send me the shirt, though. It's a nice shirt. This is an Old Town Sportsman PDL 120. 120 means it is a 12-foot watercraft. I'll tell you what, dude, right off the bat, this thing is a lot bigger than my other kayak. Dude, look at the color, though. If you guys watch a lot of YouTube, they've been sending boats out to a lot of different people, showing love to the YouTube community, so that is just freaking awesome. Like, I can just not wait to put these things side by side, the OG little red rocket. You gotta get a name for this guy. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have any ideas. They have, like, a blue and green sort of-ish option, but I feel like everybody gets that. I think this is so clean, man. Especially, like, right in time for Halloween, the spooky season vibes. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I do not know much about these kind of kayaks. I've only been in one kind of these kind of kayaks ever, and that was in Florida a couple months ago. So you and me are gonna kind of learn alongside each other i'll give you my complete unbiased honest review and that'll just come from you know like over time using it hopefully i like it shout out to old town for sending us if you guys have any like questions on you know what the price is or you know specific specifications on this kayak i'll leave a link down below that you can click on i'll tell you what though this thing was sitting outside in a monsoon look how wet the cardboard is but the boat was like completely dry so they wrapped it up pretty good definitely a lot of plastic though but dude Look at this right here, man. Now, when I say luxurious, this is literally a freaking seat. I gotta figure out how that goes in. Freaking look at this, man. Let's see. Oh, oh yeah. Now, that is some premium comfort. Peep, scissor game. One thing I will tell you, though. I, dude, on my old kayak, my freaking butt and my legs. Like, I'd be on it 45 minutes paddling around. You guys know if you watch the videos. I was sitting on stuff like this, but it was, I feel like it was even harder than this. This is that premium. But my legs would go numb, and it was, like, so wobbly and so short. And, I, dude, this is, uh definitely changed they got an interesting piece of wood right there but really two complaints i had about my old kayak one is that my legs would go numb and two is that there was no rudder i don't know we're gonna have to figure out how to get this off but we like when we'd paddle we'd be going sideways and then the wind was going we'd be pushed the one way this low-key might be my favorite upgrade of all dude this is a crazy day man all right let's see Dude, that's pretty freaking stable. <laughs> All right, y'all, we are out here today at a freaking, look how thick this swamp is. We are out here with my buddy, Jimmy. Yo, what's up? We're gonna be doing, uh, there, there's apparently a lot of different stuff out here. What'd you say, there's there's snakehead, bass? Bowfin. Bass Bofin. is a little less, but mainly snakeheads, bowfin. So, dude, this is like ultimate swamp snakehead fishing. That I really wanna catch a snakehead today. That'd be pretty freaking cool. And uh, yeah, man, we're gonna be doing like a little kind of competition sort of thing, you said? Yeah, man, 1v1, who catches the most fish based on points, and the guy with the biggest fish is gonna be five points. So pretty much today, it's it's the battle of the orange yaks, dude. But yeah, this is the maiden voyage. I mean, I cannot believe I'm standing up. I got like soggy shoes. I didn't bring the right shoes and we had to wade through some crap. I cannot believe like, look at this, I'm freaking, oh my God. I got the frog on, I got some other stuff and it, it just looks really, cool out here i told him we're gonna go find shrek jimmy gave us these frogs he actually sells these right now i'll put the link to his channel in the description and uh put in the like description how you can get these from him but apparently these are some pretty good freaking frogs they look super interesting they look like evil dude <laughs> you got the, yeah that's that is pretty stretchy and it dangles it doesn't sit horizontal it dangles like this yes. and it you moves switch it, right? all right i'm gonna tie this thing on it's all interesting right. too because you tie it to like what it like it's like a it's probably like a hundred pound braided line Oh wow. All right, I never used this reel either before, so breaking a lot of stuff in. 
Oh yeah, this is very interesting. Dude, that's so interesting. It's like bopping up and down. Yep. It kind of walks too, sort of. Yeah, oh my God, this is actually... Oh, uh, I'm still trying to figure out how to... So do you stay, stand up and paddle sometimes like this? Right, I'm gonna go this way. Oh, this feels so weird to be standing up on a freaking kayak. Oh my god! Oh my god, that was a big one, dude. Holy freaking crap. Dude, it, it jumped out so freaking far. Ooh. Well, we both had one blow up. All right, it's like one big maze. <laughs> Dude, that one was freaking, that was a big snakehead. I think that would have been the biggest snakehead I ever caught. Down in Florida earlier this year, I got on my first uh, bullseye snakehead. That, those things are pretty crazy. I don't know if I ever showed you guys that footage. Got one, got one. Holy crap, dude, the way he came out and ate that. Oh my God, oh my God. He smacked down our bank. I saw the whole thing, he went whew. What's the way to hold him to make him look big? Yeah, that last one that I got hit by, I was just, I like put my frog down in the water for a second. I didn't even like work it. Holy crap. What the heck happened? It shut the phone. Oh my gosh. So I don't know what you guys just saw, but I am completely like, dude, I am covered in duckweed. I spent like 30 minutes, my phone, fell out of my uh these pockets man i guess my phone just fell off the freaking bush dude oh my god i just heard something jump over there my phone was over there by that like that side of the bush so i literally was like on my hands and knees i i don't know if there's freaking leeches in here it's definitely not the cleanest water i see like oil yeah there's a lot of muck and i'm just happy i didn't get bit by a snap or whatever but we got the phone like i just wanted the pictures man especially like of my puppy and everything but yeah jimmy is over there we're gonna get back to fishing man he's already got well you caught one so far all right, I cannot lose my phone in this freaking competition. All right, everything is secure. Duckweed everywhere. Completely soggy and wet. Oh. Learn from my experiences though, man. That's why I'm out here doing this and uh, making these stupid mistakes. It's crazy that my phone was down there. Yeah, how long do you think I was down there? 35 minutes. It was 35 minutes? <laughs> so my phone is perfectly fine too. Uh, it's water resistant, but I guess I'll put it in rice when I get home. I cannot believe that. <laughs> That's a big log there. I'm gonna unleash on this freaking swamp, dude. Do it. Every fish in here has no chance anymore. Anger. <laughs> this is redemption. It is really thick. This is just dirty dirty water if you guys have not already man if you guys are enjoying this video so far please make sure to go down there and hit that thumbs up button <sighs> come on 
we need to fish. This looks straight out of Lion King. I'm so happy I found that. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Did you see the head on that thing? Oh my god! <laughs> oh, it's pulling him over to it! Holy crap! Alright, scale works. Look at this freaking snake head. That is ridiculous. Hovering around 6.15 and 6.2. That is like a big freaking snake head, dude. Come on, come get it. What? Come here, boy. Come here. Come here. Oh, I got one. He's in the trees. Come here. Come here. Come here. No, 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 no. That's a decent sized one too. Well, that's actually a big snake head. Hold on. Ah. Yeah, I'm stuck. He's in the trees like a freaking pinata. Please come here. This dude hit it so many times. Oh, 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 oh. Woo! Oh, dude. Oh. Come on, where's the grippers? I do not have this boat together that way. See, this is a pedal drive kayak, so there's supposed to be something that goes there, like the pedals. Oh my God, dude. Hold on a sec. <gasps> that is a big freaking snake. That might be the biggest snake head I ever caught. He hit, like, I don't know how many times. The first one I ever caught was, like, pretty big. I don't know. This one might be bigger. Let's give it away real quick. He freaking choked that frog, though. Can you guys see that? Literally. <laughs> Ow. Oh, let's see here. Oh man, longer than I thought. Alright. 4.25. Go. 4.51. That's that's pretty good freaking snakehead, dude. The first one I ever caught was in a pond in Delaware. I'll link that video down in the description. I mean that. Look at the freaking belly. Holy crap. I don't even know if you guys can really see that or not. That is a freaking giant old belly. They have crazy, crazy teeth. I'm just happy I finally got one, dude. Super freaking sick, man. Super dark. All right. Oh, nice look. Oh, my God. Dude, it looks bigger in person. Oh, my God. I'm going to lose the freaking... I almost lost my grippers. I would not have gone diving in the water for those. I'll tell you that. I just don't want to spook anything. Oh. Dude, 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 that was freaking so sick. That was so sick. Oh my God, that was so cool. Please tell me I'm recording. Oh my God. Dude, this, this is a big one. Oh my God. Dude, this is a big one. I don't know where my grippers are. Take that. Man, thank you, sir. Oh my God. Dude, is that the biggest one of the day, you think? It could be. It could be a six and a half. That's a giant That's freaking... Thick. Did you hear the way he was, like, splashing, too? Oh, my Amazing. God. Okay. I mean, that, that just the sound of the splashes it was making. That was, like, ridiculous. All right, what do we got here? Ooh, oh, I don't know. 5.85. What was oh. yours? 6.2. No! It's definitely my... That's got to be my personal best snakehead. Let me just right. show on the camera real quick. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> photo, Holy crap, dude. Deserve a photo for sure. Okay, chill, 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 chill. Ow. Oh my god, dude. Look at the freaking teeth. Holy crap. Okay. Oh, I just released him. Oh, Jimmy's definitely beating us numbers wise. But in phones found in water, I think we're on top right now. That is probably the most important statistic.
Yeah, it's pushing. Oh my god, bro, that thing jumped out so crazy. Oh god, all right, can we get him through this? Can we get him through this? Oh my god, even in the wind. <laughs> oh, it's like silence. I don't know we're freaking lightning in a bottle. I, I cannot express enough how crazy these freaking fish are, man. Definitely not the biggest one of the day. I don't even know if you guys can really see that. Look at him looking at us. Look at that, man. Freaking sick, dude. Let's let him go. Not the biggest one. Again, just, <laughs> oh, there's no such thing as catching a bad snakehead, man. Freaking ridiculous. If you guys want to see me do more of this, man, definitely let me know in the comments below. And also smash that thumbs up button. Definitely let me know. If we get 5,000 likes on this video, man, I will take this kayak here to the saltwater and we'll do some saltwater fishing, man. I still got to put like the pedal drive in it. I'm not even using it like, I'm, I'm using it properly, but not like, you know what I mean? I don't have the pedal drive and everything. It's kind of like a half review at the moment. Like we haven't unlocked its full potential. There's still so much stuff, man. I want to like give you guys more detail as far as this kayak goes. Like I, I don't know much about it, man. I saw one blow up over that way. Let's go get it. So if you guys are wondering why there's so many snakehead in here and we're not really catching bass, this is just like very, very shallow water. And as you can see, a lot of it's filled with duckweed. So really the only fish that can survive in here, according to Jimmy, are bowfin and snakehead. I mean, there can be bass in here. This is a tributary, I believe, of the Delaware River. But really the nice part about it is, first of all, it's so shallow. There's just a lot of good, juicy water to be cast into. All right, this dude jumped like over here-ish. We're gonna get blown a little bit, but I think it should be fine. See if we can get him to bite. There's one. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> oh my god, that will never get old. Oh, that's a nice one too. Oh my god. Oh my freaking god. Okay, hold on. Nope. No, 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 no. All right. Chill for two seconds. I need to get a smaller lip thing. Definitely wasn't the biggest one of the day, but holy crap, man. There's just nothing. There's nothing like that. Oof. All right, y'all. We are out of time. Um, This is just like... This is so sick out here. I ended the day, I think, with four fish. How many, what, what did you do, man? <laughs> I got six fish total, and with the biggest fish, so that's 10 points. And he didn't have to go swimming in the water for his fun. Definitely let me know in the comments below if you guys think, you know, we should do some more snakehead fishing with Jimmy. Definitely let me know as well if you guys want to see, oh gosh, if you guys want to see more kayak videos, let me know if you want to see more phone rescue videos. My whole kayak is completely freaking littered with uh, duckweed. And spiders and other leaves. Like, look at mine. Yeah, <laughs> just random leaves. Yeah, we got some big old spiders crawling around here too. So what we're going to be doing, right? I don't know if you guys can see back there. We've got a giant old snakehead. That's not the biggest one of the day, but Jimmy, uh, like, I guess it, it kind of like engulfed the frog a little bit. And I wanted to keep one anyway. So we're like, yeah, let's just take this one. He's on a stringer right now. We're going to be taking that back to my house. We're going to be doing a little you know chef for state action coming out in the kitchen but yeah thank you so much again to jimmy for inviting me out man we got to fish with him more we've done like if you guys i'll link all the videos below we've fished with jimmy a lot of times we did what normal trout we did lake trout yellow perch we did a lot of pan fishing yeah just a bunch of stuff so i'll, I'll link all those down in the description below his channels and below falls off at the end remember the first time we actually met in fish warhead fishing challenge oh my god yeah i, I do not wonder why am i always doing some dumb thing every time we meet up dude that was terrible uh yeah i'll link that down in the description below my mouth was not the same for a while yeah man let's get back here in the kitchen let's do some chefing up man skirt Okay, can we take a quick second? How the heck 
is my phone. It was in there for 35 minutes. Jimmy actually went back and said like he checked the time. 35 minutes. I was literally in there going like this on the bottom of the freaking swamp, dude. The fact that I didn't get snatched by Shrek or freaking turtles or snakes or leeches. I don't know, man. Would not recommend. I took a very long shower and then I took another shower. But it is now the next day. I'm almost done editing this video. I'm going to cook up a little bit of the snake head. I had planned on cooking up a big amount of snake head. But I just don't have the time, so we're gonna cook a little bit now and then, I guess, off camera. Or I'll put it on my Instagram, maybe, if you guys don't follow me. Eventually, I'm gonna chef up, like, a nice little snakehead meal. But today, again, man, I'm trying to perfect these snakehead nuggets. Literally, like, I feel like everybody does this. So I just kind of breeze through here. I put the snakehead in the egg wash and then put it in some of the seasoned flour. And then we're gonna come over here. This is heating up some nice oil action. We're gonna drop this in there. All I gotta say, man, I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. I tried to put as much stuff in one video as I can. A lot of people would have made this into, like, three or four different videos. Just if you guys did enjoy this video so far please make sure to go down there hit that thumbs up button and if you do enjoy my videos but you are not already or if you're new here make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button and if you never want to miss an upload from me go down there hit that notification bell this is like a powdered donut all right so we're gonna let these things fry up a little bit give them a nice flip and see if we finally have perfected I feel like the last time we did snakehead nuggets, first of all, it was like a way smaller snakehead. I've only cooked snakehead twice. Last time we cooked one, it was significantly smaller, actually both times. So this is like going to be interesting to see if the bigger ones taste, you know, a little bit different. Oh, yeah, I feel like they look a little darker. I feel like I nailed the color this time. Last time, oh gosh, oh jeez. Now this right here, this is what I used in the last video when we did the catch and cook. This is like honey buffalo sauce. It's like not very, like I'm not a big fan of like super sweet. It's like barely sweet. This has been fire recently. First, let's try one. Let's get this big thick boy right here. Just see, hello? Let's see if it tastes any different. Like this is a big snake head than those smaller ones we were catching cooking before. Let's see, man. There's a different body of water too. Let's see. Oh, hot. Holy crap, can you guys see the freaking thing come off that? Oh, that was freaking hot, dude. Where's that piece at? I mean, look at that. Snake head is known. Look at that white meat. It literally, like if I didn't know any better, this almost tastes like a chicken nugget or like a boneless chicken wing. I'm sure once I put the sauce, I put the sauce in this one. Let's give this a shot here. Doesn't taste too much different than the other ones that I was catching. Let's see. Look how white. Unfortunately, again, Kelsey's not home to try the snakehead. We'll get her to try it one of these days, man. I'm gonna literally destroy this. I think this is best we ever made these like little chicken strips, crispy fish strips, nuggets. This is good, man. I'm excited to eat this. But again, man, I know this video, it really was kind of like all over the place. Started off getting the yak, didn't really go over everything. As I said, I don't really know everything, but then we just like magically appeared at the water. It's kind of like a secret spot, so. Didn't want to like, you know. Before we got the fish in this video, I missed like so many bites. I can make like a whole bite fail compilation. This, like honestly, this is one of the most fun fishing sessions I had in a while. And I feel like this is one of my most favorite videos I've made in a while. So yeah, man. Hopefully we'll get back out there and do some more snakehead fishing soon. There's like so much different types of fishing that I want to do. This like end of the summer slash going into fall period is going to be really, really good. I got a lot of cool stuff coming up. So just stay tuned, man. The Cabela stuff that we're giving away, we're going to be doing it very, very soon in a future video. Just stay tuned for that as well. All I got to say, man, just thank you guys so much for all the support. Let's keep this show, man. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next video. You wanna know just well.